Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time when we left off we had destroyed the black analyte eggs in pod 1 and had reversed the gravity in pod 2 before arriving there. We are proceeding to the bridge of the Rickenbacker so that we can separate it from the Von Braun. Shodan can destroy the Von Braun and the many along with it, so let's pick it up right there. You'll notice we're on the ceiling. Thanks to the reversed gravity. You were warned. Prepare, prepare to be cut down by the progeny of our joy. So down here we find 24 nanites. That's handy. Shotgun has one slug in it to feed into our recycler. There's also a maintenance tool here on the ground. And the corpse has 24 nanites on it. Beautiful. Let's hop up here next. Looks like there's not really anything to find. So we'll just keep moving. Oh. There's a turret there. It at least appears to have terrible aim. Thanks to being upside down. But it'll probably hit me eventually if I'm not careful, so... Let's just cryo it down like we do. Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding rebirth and salvation. The turret corpse has nothing. Behind it, 24 more nanites. And here is a chapel with an upside-down crucifix in it. And here's what looks like a maintenance tunnel. Let's check the chapel first. Should have known that was coming. Entering the chapel spawned an assault droid behind us, so let's just prepare electron suppression. I need a psi hypo. Let's handle him. Oh yeah, adrenaline too, just so we can do this a little faster. We got the robot, good. Now he's not carrying anything. I wonder if I should go this way first. Just since the chapel seems to be the way I'm supposed to go. 
There's another turret. I was under the mistaken impression that it would never hit me, so... Let's see if I can hit it without being shot at. Yes, I can. Good. This body has an unresearched object and a crystal shard. Unresearched object. This appears to be a large patch of tough annelid skin. Chemicals needed to research. Hassium and technetium. Box of 12 armor-piercing bullets, which we can recycle. And I think we'll probably have to backtrack to deck one, or Rickenbacker deck one, to the chemical storeroom to research this bad boy. I've got a ladder here, and another one going down. Let's, let's check down here first. I see something on the ground. We've got a large beaker, and six cyber modules. Brings my total to eleven. And I'm actually thinking that this is the way forward, going in there and going up that ladder, so... Let's do a couple of things. Search this body, two med hypos, and version 3 modification software. And now you see two assassins hanging out over there. Let's hypnotize them if we can. Got one. Almost got the other. Got him. Let's do adrenaline again. Let's go wrench these guys. Third assassin, should have known. I was gonna say, probably need a better plan to deal with him. I at least need to be able to get to him. I might need to hypnotize him, too. Come on. Good. Got him. Alright. Let's take them both down. Okay, we got him. Let's make sure we search the third corpse. Nothing but on the ground over here. We have version 3 repairing software. I'm going to use a med hypo since my health is so low. Use a psi hypo too. And let's check the ground. We've got four cyber modules. Brings my total to 15. Nothing on the corpse. The assault rifle has two bullets I can unload and recycle. We've got a bottle of champagne, also recyclable. We've got six anti-personnel bullets, which I'll recycle. And an audio log, Polito, July 10th, 2114, regarding Pandora. The genie of Citadel Station is out of the bottle, and I am the cause. I can't bear to be Pandora, and I'm not brave enough to wait around and see the death and misery I have caused. This is my last transmission, my friend. Be careful. I think Shodan has plans for you. <coughs> Anything else up here? No, that's it for the chapel. So I am going to run back to deck one. Not for too long, but to research the Annelid armor. Which I actually am planning on using. It's a 
pretty dramatic upgrade for our character, if you ask me. But it is a ways back to the chemical storeroom. Actually, uh, before I go any farther, I should probably make sure that Hassium and Technetium are both in there. They are. Okay. Let's get going. I basically remember where the chemical storeroom was. Not exactly, though. I know it was off in the direction of the engine nacelles. So I'll have to mess with that again, but... That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, we were able to jog back to the Psi upgrade unit without too many issues. We do have an assault bot out here. The good news is the fusion cannon is a slow weapon. We should be able to get past him without too much trouble. All the way back through here, there's the assassin. Remember him, too. We got a spider there. Which I would also prefer to ignore. Maybe not. I'll kill the spider. Since it followed me all the way to the storeroom. Fuck you, spider. We handled the spider, so we've got Hassium in here, I know. Let's find it. There it is. Research is moving along nicely. Let's wait until it tells us we need Technetium. I can go ahead and find and grab the technetium. And I can even start working my way back. I don't know why I felt compelled to just wait. In retrospect, it seems rather silly. Alright. Got past the homes there. Thank goodness for that. Just leaves our old buddy the assault bot. He's in here. I was pretty sure we could get by him. Climb the torpedoes, as before. Now that we're out of range, let's feed in the technetium. Oh, crap. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Get up there, dude. There you go. See, was that so hard? Alright, research completed. Let's find a nice, safe spot, <laughs> and let's see what we've got going on. about respawn again. <clears throat> okay. 
let's see what this is. A worm skin armor. Summary. This armor provides both combat and environmental protection, as well as increases the wearer's psi stat by two. However, it slowly drains the user's psi points. Analysis. This worm skin has been fashioned into a crude body covering, suitable for a human to wear. The skin is far tougher than its biochemical makeup would suggest, and further investigation demonstrates a subtle repulsive effect that appears to be psionically generated. The fact that the effect is still active in combination with the slowly continuing metabolic processes in the skin indicates that the skin in, is, in some sense, still alive. Recommendation. Wearing the worm skin as a piece of armor will provide some physical and environmental protection, and it will increase the wearer's size statistic. However, it will be a continuous psionic drain on the wearer to keep from being attacked and consumed by the skin. This stuff is awesome when you get into a fight. Here's why. Not only does it provide more defense than my light armor does, but it effectively boosts my size stat to 8, which means I get instant psi overloads. I don't have to worry about holding down the mouse anymore. That is awesome. Now, in order to alleviate the constant psi drain, I just don't put it on, or well, I take it off between battles, but it's basically going to be my go-to armor from now on. I'll be wearing it, I'll always be wearing it during combat because extra defense is awesome, and instant psi overloads are freaking awesome. So let's just head up the ladder now. We're heading toward the sick bay, as you can probably see. Got at least one of the ghost spiders over here. There's another one there. I think the invisible ones were, or, you know, transparent, because they're not actually invisible, as you can see. I mean, I get the feeling they were supposed to be scarier, but the fact that they're so much slower than their standard counterparts makes me really prefer fighting them. I think they're a lot easier to deal with. Alright, got the spiders. Although I hear some more. Let's search these three before any of them disappear. And let's search this corpse as well. It's got a suit of heavy combat armor and 24 nanites. Yahoo. Alright, we've got more spiders over in the next room. We'll leave them be for now. There's an incomplete surgical unit. Over here, we've got a bottle of juice, two packs of cigarettes, a bottle of vodka, and inside the trash can, nothing. Let's recycle these four tidbits. Another incomplete surgical unit. Plus... Nothing. Alright. Let's drop down here and... deal with the spiders. Way we know how. Wrench tastic, baby. Wrench delicious. One down, one to go. Alright, that one didn't have anything. Let's nail the other one. Come on, dude. Quit running away. Stop being a pussy. Got it. Alright, he's got nothing either. Here's another large beaker. We're waiting on a worm pile. Now here is a corpse. It's got Diego's Quarters access card on it, which I guess means this must be Diego. Unresearched object. It's an implant. This item requires a research skill of five to be researched. Well, holy shit, this is what we've been saving the lab assistant implant for. We can recycle the swift boost now, because we won't be using it. It is finally obsolete. Let's put on the lab assistant. And let's research this bad boy. This grotesque implant is covered with pulsing veins. Chemicals needed to research cesium and hassium. Alright. Let's check the chemical manifest again. 
No cesium here. And there was only one hassium. What about command? Do I have to go all the way back to command? It looks like I do. We've got cesium and hassium back on command. So let's take this audio log with us. Diego, July 12th, 2114. Regarding last words. Those worms were a cancer in my body, so I had the auto dog cut it out. You think they're gonna let you blow up the Von Braun? The many will never allow it. But I've got something to help you. It's in my quarters. You'll find the access card on my body. The fight to them, soldier. And remember, you're the only one trust. Alright. Captain Diego is dead too. We need to, incredibly now, we need to go all the way back to command in order to research an implant, which we will also, oh no, which I do intend to use for the duration of the game. I wish I'd been, had the presence of mind to think a little bit farther, come on, make this jump, douche. The presence of mind to think a little farther in advance and bring these chemicals from command, but, oh well. This'll be a long trip, and I do apologize for that. A very long trip, all the way back through the umbilical. All the way through here. I'm a little surprised Shodan isn't yelling us uh, yelling at us about all this backtracking. She's usually in such a hurry. But let's just keep going. Same guy. Same droid. Still gonna make trouble. But he can't make that much trouble. He's so slow after all. I hate how cramped the Rickenbacker is. I guess... I guess that aesthetic is intentional, though. I mean, because it's... It's a military ship. It's not the... Passenger ship the Von Braun theoretically is. Alright, I hear something out here. Something I don't particularly want to mess with. I'm hoping I don't run into it. If I remember right, we've got an assassin at the bottom of this ladder. Which we probably have no choice but to actually kill if we have to go all the way back to command. Two assassins! Even better. Oh, 
that time was going so well. Down. Shit. Ugh. He led me. Did you guys see that? That was actually some pretty amazing shurikening. I have to give credit where credit's due. Go to hell. Alright, let's use another med hypo. Let's finally head back through the umbilical. Welcome back to the Von Braun, everyone. Let's head back to the bridge where the chemical storeroom is. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Such is life, I guess. Only 15 modules. Insufficient. Later, bro. Can I help you? Uh, is someone there? put the worm skin armor on. I haven't made the m mental adjustment to switching armor on yet, and I will soon. As soon as I actually have to use Psy, that's the trigger I'm imagining for myself. So, we need to go back to the officer's area. That's where the chemical storeroom is, if memory serves, but there's a fucking rumbler there. Now he's back down where he belongs. Oh hey, a worm pile. Let's fill and recycle my two beakers. And move that there. Now, if memory serves, the chemical storeroom is on the second floor of this area. And it sounds like there's another fucking rumbler up here, too. Where, I don't know. Let's just grab the cesium and hassium and start making our way back. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I read this. This grotesque implant is covered with pulsing veins. Chemicals needed to research cesium and potassium. All right, that's it. There's potassium needed. Let's just take this little shortcut out of here. Hopefully that's all we need to do. Later, dude. This will take me back to the umbilical. And now we need to just sprint through pod one again. And then through pod two all the way back to Diego. Such is life. Should probably run by the replicator over in the cell B. Spend those nanites on psi hypos. Since I'm here and everything. Hi there. Please make this a hypo. Wahoo. 
Research complete. Perfect. Now this implant rules, if you ask me. A worm heart implant. Summary. While this implant is powered, the user takes no damage from analid toxin and will regenerate one hit point per 30 seconds. Unfortunately, when the implant ceases being powered or is removed, a great deal of toxin is released into the user's bloodstream. Make sure you have some anti-toxin hypos handy. Analysis. This implant is the com a combination of a blood filtering device and a regenerative stimulator using analid regenerative tissue as an adjunct. While the implant is worn, it sequesters all analid venom that the user is subject to, preventing it from acting. Additionally, damaged tissue is replaced quickly by a psychocreative analid substitute. However, the substitute tissue produces some amount of degradation byproduct, which is itself toxic and sequestered by the implant. However, when the implant loses power or is removed, much of the sequestered venom is released. Recommendation. This device is not recommended for frequent use because of the danger of the toxin damage upon removing the implant. However, its regenerative and toxin protection properties may well be invaluable in a very dangerous situation. So that's it, we're done with the lab assistant now. And we have to keep it charged, which we can do with Electron Cascade. And what it allows us to do is basically have regenerating health for the rest of the game, which is awesome. Let's juke these guys. That guy, rather. Um, something else has probably spawned somewhere since I killed those two assassins at the umbilical. Hopefully, nothing too hard to handle. Same old assault bot friend. Later, bro. Just hop up the torpedoes. By the way, I recycled the lab assistant implant because Wormheart is what we were saving it for. I probably won't start wearing Wormheart until the next level. Just because the next level, you have to deal with a lot of toxins. And the toxin immunity really starts to be handy. And then I f will, will, of course, have to start really keeping an eye on its power level. Although, I guess since I've been hoarding anti-toxin hypos literally the entire game, I can probably handle it if it runs out once or twice, at least. Uh, I'm kind of ranting now, rambling. Apologies. Let's just keep going. Alright, we made it back to pod 2. Sorry so much of this video has been devoted to backtracking, but those should be the last things I need to research. I think the only unresearched object left is the worm launcher, and I won't be researching it anyway because it requires a skill of six, which I'm never going to have, not even with the uh, lab assistant implant. So we got back to Diego. That was remarkably easy, actually. So past him, we find a med kit, a rad hypo. There's an egg somewhere. Right there on the wall. It's empty. It was a swarm egg. <laughs> now let's arm cryokinesis. And let's throw on the armor just for the fun of the instant overload. Toxin hypos next to this guy. Swarm pod organ on the ground. Now what's over here? Sounds like more eggs. That's another swarm egg. That's, 
let's search the body first. There's, or I guess I already did search the body. So, what do we have? Oh, shoot! I need to just get down to the middle thing without triggering any hatches. Alright. That one I can't even search. also can't search. These overloads are awesome! There's an antitoxin hypo down here. Looks like that's it. Now, uh, what about over here? Looks like both eggs are empty, so let's just throw on our armor and destroy them. And it doesn't look like there's anything here. So... Let's hop, skip, and jump into here. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. 15 modules. modules. That brings my total to 30. Let's head up the elevator. So those three emails were Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding annelid treachery, Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding insolence, and Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding the many. Let me see how long I've been playing. Um, shoot, barely half an hour? Let's keep going to the end of the Rickenbacker. Oops. You, 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 you hesitate? I will not ask a second time. time. Launch into the many. Cut out its heart, and, and, and I will reward you with continued existence. Fail me, and I will put an end to your disgusting, inefficient biology. Okay, there we have Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding Do Not Fail Me. So I need to know where that swarm came from. There it is. I don't know that I actually have a good way to avoid it, except, wait a minute, how about invisibility? Is this going to work? Let's get the instant overload, and let's see. Invisibility. 
Well, it works, except... They just caught me in their drift. Let's wait for them to die off. Rickenbacker access used. Alright, so there's a rumbler over there. Here is the final OS upgrade station. Oh. And there's the rumbler after me. Probably better deal with him first. First, let's get our fourth and final OS upgrade. I'm gonna take as soon as I find it. Tank. Five extra max HP. Big deal before we enter the body of the many. Make no mistake about that. Alright, the spider's in here. Let's deal with him. There's another one somewhere, but for now, search the egg, find nothing, destroy it, be happy. This corpse, 12 anti-personnel shotgun shells and a maintenance tool, all recycler food. Doesn't appear to be anything else in here, so let's head this way. A camera! Was able to get under it in time. Escape pods in there. That's where we need to go. First, let's... We got turrets. Turrets like crazy, I might add. on that one. Two rumblers. Two rumblers, a spider, and another turret. Alright, we need to... We definitely need to recruit one of these rumblers to the cause. Damn, the turret's getting me. Alright, let's 
try that again. Where's the rumbler? There's one. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna let that fight play out. Psy Hypo. Armor. Structure's not gonna work, but let's let's get an overload on adrenaline. And then kill the last rumbler. Shouldn't be too tough. The arachnid has nothing. The rumbler has nothing. The blast turret has nothing. Let's cryo down the other turret. This place is very busy, as you can see, but we do have upgrade stations. That much is nice. Alright, now maybe we can explore down here. Nothing. Okay. 30 modules is still not enough for a new power. Let's head over here. We've got nine disruption grenades and two small beakers. I'll recycle the grenades now and <clears throat> wait and hope that we can see some worms. Back here are 24 nanites. Let's check the replicator. It's broken. We'd have to repair it. Look at the bridge. The bridge actually appears to be empty for now. Oh, there's the canister of nanites. 24 nanites. And that's it. So, a uh, warning unidentified hole deposit. You can see the giant worm that is the many wrapped around the ships, holding them together. Let's head through here. It's the one place we haven't gone yet. Diego's quarters. Oh, in here, you see the worm... oops. Grubs. One, two... I'd rather not get hit by a grub. Thank you. It's embarrassing. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now let's turn the beakers into worms and recycle them. There's a multi-picture. I don't think there's anything inside it, though. And this is the worm launcher. You've served me well. Transmitting cybernetic Now we can't research it. It requires a research skill of six. And I can't unload the five worm clusters either. But it's still worth picking up just so you get that 20 cyber module bonus from Shodan. So let's grab the nanites off of Diego's bed. 24. Search the crate. Find nothing. Now with 50 modules, we can afford one more power before we head downstairs. So let's go to the Psy Upgrade Station. Let's get... Let's get Soma Transference. We're now equipped to kill the many when we get to its central nervous system. Let's head down here and deal with those spiders we've been hearing. Come here, dude.
him. Maintenance tool, 24 anti-personnel bullets, all recycler fuel. The corpse. Oh, duh, we just did it. Alright, let's search the egg. It was a swarm egg, had nothing inside it. Now here's the escape pod. You can see what we're launching ourselves into. Let's make sure there's nothing left on the Von Braun or Rickenbacker that you want, because this is a point of no return. Let's do this. We are now inside the body of the many. This place is legendary. It's so ridiculously hard compared to the rest of the game. But, there's some good news about it too. Uh, but I'll talk about that when it's time to actually play it. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We reached the top of the Rickenbacker, and we launched ourselves into the many. Our mission? Destroy it. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.